Hey guys, this is going to be my newborn faves. These are my favorite things that I've had for my son since he's been born. And some of them are really big, so some of them I can't bring into the room, so I'm gonna do kind of a picture and picture thing as I talk about them for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's start this. Uh, it's gonna be a random mixture of stuff. So yeah, the very first thing is this little dog. I did register for this little lovey thing. Um, it was on my registry, but my cousin actually had it for her daughter, and it was her daughter's favorite thing. And so she saw it in the store, and she picked it up, and she bought me, oh gosh, I forgot the boon grass. It's downstairs. I'll get that in a second. But she bought it for me with the boon grass, which is another favorite. Um, so she, uh, she picked it up. She knew that her daughter loved this. And when she got to the checkout, it showed that it was on my registry. She's like, oh, okay. Because you know I had to get it because it had dogs on it. When I saw it in the store, I did it. But he loves this thing. It's silky, and it's got the tag, just like sensory stuff, I guess. Um, so, but Justin and I noticed today, we were laughing, like half the dog's smile is gone. It's just stitched on this side. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but we noticed that. What is on my nail? We noticed that today. Isn't that cool? I have mascara on my nail. And we were like, what the heck? Why does it only have half a smile? But I think it's supposed to be smirking. I don't know. I don't know, but he loves this thing. This is his favorite little lovey thing. He also got, um, I might, it might be in like a later on favorites, but he also got this really sweet little um, knitted bear, not bear, knitted doggy from um, my friend who lost her baby recently. She, it was, it's just the cutest thing and then these little wooden rings with it. And I'm sure that'll be in a faves because he's just starting to really like things like this. And, um, but right now this has been his current favorite, but he's starting to like, he really likes that knitted dog too. So it'll probably be in a future video, but this is one of our faves. And we got this at Bye Bye Baby, I believe it's on the Bye Bye Baby registry. The next few things are going to be like soaps and stuff like that. We'll first start with um, our favorite gripe water. We've been using the Mommy's Bliss gripe water and I thought it works well. Um, it's kind of like basically like baby ginger ale. It's natural, it's not gas drops, but I feel like it works well for gas and fussiness and hiccups. Um, again, I think I've, I don't know if I've said this yet in this video, Jackson has GERD. And when I was like, this isn't working, the gas drops aren't work, gas drops aren't working, I didn't realize he had GERD. But when he just has gas and stuff, this Mommy's Bliss stuff works really well. If you've tried this and it doesn't work that well, somebody also told me about something called Colic Calm. If your baby's colicky, it's supposed to be like the cream of the crop. I ended up never getting it just because we found out he had GERD, and that's been the actual issue with I thought he was colicky, but he's not. Um, so but yeah, if you need like a serious colic stuff or a serious gripe water, call it calm. Um, I believe she said you can find it at Toys R Us. I couldn't find it at ours when I was looking for it, but I also saw that Walgreens has it. So, um, but this Mommy's Bliss has been good enough for us and it's been, it's about $10 and he's never had issues with the taste. They have flavored stuff, but I don't really like them having flavors. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's fine like this. He takes it just fine. It's worked out for us. Next is this Burt's Bees Shampoo and Wash. This was a gift. Um, it's been, it's it's a nice soap. Um, it's very soft on his skin. I feel like it has oatmeal in it because he kind of smells like oatmeal, but in a sweet way. It, oatmeal and sweet almond oil, that's the smells that he kind of smells with like afterwards. Oat flour, that's what causes it, the oatmeal smell. But he smells really good afterwards. This is really gentle on his skin. Um, it's moisturizing. I do not use it on his face or his head because he's got baby acne. And let me tell you guys, I forgot to bring this up in his video, um, the last video I did, but uh, the baby acne, for some reason, this made it worse. Um, baby acne, you can't really do anything about it necessarily because it's hormones in his body and not hormones from like breast milk or anything because formula babies get it too. It's your leftover pregnancy hormones in his body or in the baby's body and there's nothing you can really do about it. Like I can't get his, his has gone away completely once but the thing that made it go away is the doctor, it was so bad when he first got it. The doctor usually doesn't give people cream but she gave us cream for it and that didn't really help that much. What really helped was breast milk. Yes, I rub breast milk all over his face and it works. And then his baby acne starts going away completely. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe it's gone, but then it comes back. So for some reason, that oatmeal stuff made it worse. I don't know why. 
So we don't use that on his face. What I do use is Dr. Bronner's, which is like the only thing I'll put on his face and his scalp now because he was getting it on his like head too. Um, so the Dr. Bronner's doesn't make it worse. You know I love Dr. Bronner's. I use a peppermint one for my face. Um, so this has been our, we use this a lot of times when we bathe him. We bathe him, we bathe him like every other day because I don't want to bathe him every day because he doesn't really need it. I don't want to dry his skin out. But um, I use the oatmeal one maybe once or twice a week. Most of the time I just do Dr. Bronner's because we already have it. But the oatmeal one, it's very nice. It's soothing. It's nice. I like it. Um, another thing, this was sent to me by a YouTube family member. It is so rad. It's a Canadian company. It's a vegan um, butt balm. And uh, when he was, we found out he has, <laughs> this poor baby, when we found out he has a dairy issue, um, he was getting diarrhea. And you guys, and I'm going to talk about runny baby poop. Like diarrhea, it would squirt across the room when he was having it. Like we'd go to change him and it just kept coming and coming and coming. And it was like violently projectiling and it would go on for like 45 minutes and he'd cry. And it was awful. And we found out it was the formula. He had a dairy issue. Um, so his butt was getting real red and I didn't have any diaper rash cream. I think, I think I did, but he was so young. Um, I had had this that Patricia, like I said, a YouTube family member sent to us and I used it and it's wonderful. I love it. I don't think I'll buy like regular store diaper cream. Um, cause I remember I found one of the major ones, um, the butt paste stuff is cruelty free, I believe. But I don't, I wouldn't even need it because this stuff is great. It is a Canadian company. I think I found it when I want to rebuy it because she got this on, oh, what is that called? Steals.com, I believe. Um, but I believe I have seen this on Amazon. So when this runs out, I will be buying more of it. And then he also, whenever we're out and he touches something, because like I said in his two-month update, I don't know if that video has come out or not yet, he has been putting his hands in his mouth a lot now. And so I've been using, when I can't wash his hands, I use this alcohol-free um, foaming hand sanitizer, which I was using for myself um, before I found out Purell was um, cruelty-free. We've been using this baby Gannix on him. I think this is going to be really good when he's a toddler too. So this has been a favorite when we're out. And I actually use this too in the diaper bag. I also have a Purell thing on the diaper bag now too. But we use this as well next to his changing station downstairs. Okay, so um, also this is from that same company, the So Rad. This is the Baby Pow Powder. This stuff smells so good. And it's just, it's, feel, it's just natural stuff like cornstarch. Um arrowroot powder it's got like two languages on here so i'm like Ur. it's just it's natural stuff oh lavender flowers cucumber marshmallow um cornstarch yeah it's it's like a better option than johnson and johnson's obviously and it smells so good but um i've been using this too and i really really like it it's from the same company go rad made canada and vegan again from patricia she rocks um then I think this is, this is, I've talked about this in cruelty free favorites, but Patricia also sent us some soap nuts, which I just started being able to use. Um, so because I was just able to start doing laundry and stuff after my surgery. Um, and my C-section did open in two places. So when she was like, don't do anything, I couldn't even be doing the laundry. So um, I do like the soap nuts a lot, but this is my favorite this is the Rock and Green Laundry Detergent. And whenever he finally fits into um, cloth diapers, this is what I'm going to try to use on it. Um, also, she had gave me some bleach, um, bleach alternative stuff. It's like natural. It's not actually bleach that I'll probably use. It says it's safe for cloth diapers, I believe, on the back of package. But we'll get into that when he's actually in diaper, cloth diapers. But this is going to be, going to be what I use for cloth diapers because... It's cruelty free. I use it on the dog stuff. And even though it's natural, like even cut, like regular detergent Tide and all that stuff does not take the funk out of the dog blankets that are in Ralph's like bedding in his crate. Like you cannot get the funk out of that. But this does. This stuff is awesome. The rock and green. I was getting the watermelon and I got another scent this time. But I just brought this in here because this one's empty and not heavy like the other one. Um, so... If you have a Bye Bye Baby in your area and you want to try this, they do carry it and so do some um, bath, Bed Bath & Beyonds. 
take the coupon, the 20% off coupon, or they send $5 off 15, and that's what I buy this with. I saw this in um, our grocery store H-E-B for $19, and it's like $16 at Bye Bye Baby, and I use those coupons. Also, Bye Bye Baby does take Bed Bath & Beyond coupons, so just letting you guys know if you wanna try it. Um, that has been when I have been washing his clothes in. There's been a couple times I've washed his clothes on accident, and the Method stuff that we use that is scented, and it hasn't really done anything. Like it hasn't bothered his skin at all, which I find interesting because recently a family member um, just stopped by and they were wearing um, a lot of body, I don't know if it was like one person's perfume or the other person's body splash, but he had an allergic reaction to it and his eyes swelled up and it was so sad, but um, it went down fast. It wasn't anything like dangerous, but um, I started worrying about scents at that time because, you know, a couple times I accidentally washed his stuff and the other stuff um, when I made a pile for Justin of laundry to do and it's got washed together and he didn't really react to that even though they have unscented one. So the method stuff didn't bother him. For some reason that stuff did and maybe it's because the method stuff's more natural but um, these oh. scents aren't like... They're like essential oils. It, it doesn't smell like that when it comes out. It doesn't really smell like anything. It just smells clean. Um, but the scent doesn't stay with it. I feel like it's more aromatherapy for the person doing laundry. But um, the next thing is our favorite wipes are the seventh generation baby wipes. These have been awesome. The only thing that sucks is they just redid the, uh, they just redid how these are. And it's just like this now. You don't even get this thing, the packages I've been getting. So I took one of those, somebody's Huggies thing. That, or no, somebody gave us a Huggies thing um, that has like the little pop top thing. Um, and I ended up using it. I use it as a dispenser for these wipes. But these are the wipes we're using. I'm going to be doing an organization tour of his closet and his dresser and if y'all see the huggies things this is what's actually in there we just use that as a way to get them out because it's a pain in the butt when all you have is the little tape stuff to try to get the wipes out so i wish they would make some kind of plastic reusable thing for these but these are our favorite wipes our favorite disposable diapers and honestly the only disposable cruelty free diapers i've used i will tell you guys um pampers not tested on animals the final product but what they put in it is tested on animals. And I say that because when I asked them, they wouldn't answer me. They just said the final product. They kept saying the final product, which is a company's way of saying the ingredients that go into it are tested on animals, but the diaper itself isn't, which is dumb. Like they don't put, when they test up an animal, they don't put a diaper on a bunny's ass. They like put the harshest chemicals that go into the diaper on the animal and concentrate and see what happens. Concentrate, concentrated? I don't know. Anyways. Um, I'm just sorry, that sounds so dumb. Um, <laughs> so the cruelty-free, my favorite cruelty-free diapers have been the Honest Diapers. This is this, I love that they have patterns, first off. They're not really that much more expensive than Pampers and stuff. Um, and I absolutely love the patterns. Of course, I bought the Space ones. Thank you to whoever told me about them because right away I went and started hunting for them um, in his size. And they've been hard to find, but I did find some. So they've been my favorite cruelty free. Um, if you live in Texas, HEB has their own brand of diapers and they've actually started doing it now like Pampers. And I used to coupon like crazy coupon lady before going cruelty free and stuff I had couponed and already purchased, I did not get rid of. Um, it I kind of felt like it had already been done to the animal and it was almost like a slap in the face to then turn around and throw it out. I don't know if that makes sense. But I had a ton of diapers I coupon on for over the three years we've been TTCing and no, they weren't expired. Oddly enough, some of them didn't have an expiration date. Um, so I had a lot of the HEB ones um, and the, the Clifford ones, not the Hill Country ones if you guys live in Texas. So if you live in Texas, the HEB diapers, and the reason I got those with coupons and stuff especially was because in my years of working in baby rooms and stuff, the ones where the parents had to bring the diapers, I noticed they weren't just as good as Pampers and just as good as all the other names. And they weren't as expensive because they had less chemicals and shit in them. And I noticed a lot of kids had less of allergic reactions to diapers in generic diapers like that. So it's a good price. They're good diapers. And now um, they used to do Clifford designs and now they're doing, they copy Pampers. They have like the indicator for if they peed or not. So they're pretty much copying the Pamper Swaddlers. Um, and I find the Swaddlers, did I say that right? I feel like I said that funny. I don't know, we'll have to see in editing. Um, 
I find that they work just as well. Um, I have had a few leaks in all the diapers I've used and it was because daddy was learning how to change diapers in the middle of the night, um, mostly. I did have a couple of times the Pampers failed me. I don't know why they leaked. Um, I was really surprised because I got really scared because when I found out I was pregnant, I bought a couple boxes of Honest and a lot of people said they had issues with the Honest ones leaking. I haven't at all. There's been, there's been maybe one time where if you, if you have to pay attention sometimes if they're little boys, if their wieners turn up, sometimes they just, they're just peeing up here and, um, it'll fill it fast. Um, and so I think there's been like one time the Honest one had a leak up the top of it. Um, but I think at the same time he had been sleeping for like four hours straight and that little boy pees a lot. Jackson pees so much. So, but I did have more leaks with the pamper swaddlers and I don't know, maybe like every baby's different, their shape and size and stuff. And that's why, because my best friend uses pamper swaddlers and she's had no issues with them at all. It's, it's her favorite diaper. But, um, but I wanted to tell you guys, if you live in Texas, the HEB ones, are really good. I never, I've tried so many times to ask HEB if their diapers, like I've contacted corporate and stuff, they've never gotten back to me because I would buy them if they were cruelty free. But again, they've never gotten back to me. So Honest is in our go-to disposable diaper. I do have some seventh generation ones, but those are in the size two. So we'll see if in the future those are, um, you know, diapers I like. But right now I have had enough to wear. I haven't had to really buy any. So I don't want to go buy some just to test them. But yeah, Honest, I feel like this a lot of talking. Um, I'm going to talk about some big stuff really quick. There is the Halo Bassinet. I did not think I would like that. I Every time I saw it in the store, and I was even telling my best friend the other day when I was pregnant, we went in there, and I was like, that is crazy. 260 something dollars for a bassinet is crazy. And I was like, yeah, I was that person. I was like, who would buy that? I ended up buying it. Um, because Jackson had breathing issues um, in the hospital. He had so many issues. And we planned on just putting the crib in our room, but I wanted something, um, especially after my C-section, that was right next to us. And especially because he had stopped breathing so many times in the hospital. And by the time we came home, he had gotten better with that. We had a, we, instead of like, um, like it, it just made us so nervous. We, one of us would take a half of a shift like of the night and the other would sleep and then the other one would wake up. And so somebody is always awake with him. Um, and once we came home, the breathing issues that he had had in the hospital didn't happen again, but it still made us nervous. And we waited until they said that there was no more fluid in his lungs causing the issue. And before we started actually both sleeping at the same time with him. Um, so I wanted something though that was right next to me when that happened because I quickly learned that Justin is a very hard sleeper and sometimes crying doesn't wake him up. Um, and so I want something that was right next to me. So I, we ended up getting it and it has been my favorite baby thing. Like I am obsessed with it. Um, it swivels all the way around um, completely. It's, uh, it's adjustable height wise. So our bed is very, very tall. Um, and we can make it taller, you can make it shorter, and it actually can pull over so that it overlaps your bed just a little bit. It doesn't go like into the bed with you, but it overlaps the bed. Um, and that's been really nice because I feel like he's right there and I can reach in and touch him if I need to. And well, you know, I'm a new mom like with him and he's my tiny baby and I reach over and I check that he's breathing all the time. <laughs> So it's nice to just be like, okay, and I feel him breathing and I'm good. And it's nice that he's at our level. It's not low to where the dogs can kind of get to him, sniff him, lick him in his sleep or whatever while we're sleeping. I feel, I'm just, I, I'm obsessed with it. Um, another thing about it is it does have two pockets on the side for storage, which have been great because like um, we can stuff diapers and wipes in one, his passy. When I was having to nurse with a nipple shield, I could put a nipple shield in there. Um, just cloth, um, not cloth, like a uh, burp rags and stuff. You can just fill the little pockets with thing. And I saw the other day in the store, they also have something that clips on the back and you can also buy a mobile for it as well. Um, we don't have any of that yet. Um, we did buy, there's two different versions. One's only $200, the other's like 250 to 265. Um, we bought the more expensive one because at the time we couldn't find the one that didn't have the, um, the little bar on it. It has like a thing you can hit and it times like 30 minutes of nursing. So it lets you know when 30 minutes is up. Then it has a vibrate feature with vibrates the bassinet. 
Um, and at first he did not like that the first, you know, week or two using it. Now he loves it. He loves it and the problem is that it broke and I'll get into that in a second. Um, and then another feature is it's got music and volume. It's got two volumes on it and it says several different things. His favorite thing has been the heartbeat one. Um, and it kind of sounds like um, the heartbeat and like it sounds like a placenta swooshing and like, you know, that's been his favorite thing. Think of this. Yeah, those are the things on it. Um, and I'm glad now that we got that one because he did not like it at first and now he does. The vibrate feature has been the best thing because sometimes he stirs and he wakes himself up and especially when he had like GERD issues, it would like, he'd wake up for a minute and fuss and go back to sleep. And the vibrate thing has been really great about if he's stirring and he's not in a lot of pain, um, if the vibrate thing turns on, he can kind of soothe himself back to sleep without having to wake him up and take him out, you know? Um, but another thing about that is, so the vibrate feature just stopped working one day. Or it, like you could hit the button, but it wasn't vibrating the bed. And I was like, oh my gosh, but everything else was working. Oh yeah, I forgot, it has a light on it as well. Um, so that's been great. It's got two modes on the light. So it's like dim and then brighter. So I call it the mommy stalker light. Whenever I wanna like turn it on in the middle of the night and look at him, I can, it's like really awesome. Um, that's been just awesome too because I can turn it on and it lights up the area of like my bed enough to where I can like get my pump out and pump and like make sure my nipples in the thing right without turning lights on and really like waking myself up a lot. So it's just, it's fantastic. I've been obsessed. That's my favorite baby thing since we got him. Um, since we got him, <laughs> since we had him. Um, so that's been a favorite. Um, but yeah, the vibrate thing, I contacted the company and by the time I will post this video, I will have an answer of whether they replace it, if it's under warranty or whatnot, and that'll be somewhere in this video. So that has been my favorite thing. Another sleep thing that I love are these, have them loving, are these pods. These are the Swaddle Me, um, the newborn pods. Okay, so they zip instead of like the Swaddle Me stuff that has Velcro. They zip up and they also unzip here for diaper changes, which is awesome, especially in the middle of the night. You don't want them flailing or waking themselves up like too much. Um, so these, I have another one. No, I have two more. No, I have one more. I don't know. He just outgrew these, and I'm very sad. I, you know, I think he probably could have worn them for another week or so, but I started transitioning him to the Swaddle Me's, and those will probably be in another faves video. But honestly, I, I had packed the Swaddle Me, the bigger one, but he was so tiny, it did, he didn't fit in it. Um, it was way too big on him. It was dangerous big. Like I would never let him sleep in it when he was first born. And he just at two months outgrew these. These are up to 10 pounds and he just got hit the 10 pound mark. Um, but these, these have been the best things. These my, like aside from the bassinet, my absolute top favorite have been these pods. Um, so if we have another baby, these will be in the hospital bag because really if your baby isn't like 10 pounds or close to it, these Swaddle Me um, blankets, they just, and the, the other ones that he's in now, they're just too big. Um, and so I would highly recommend these. It's worth the money. And it definitely, definitely buy more than one. At first we bought one and I was like, it's no big deal. We'll just wash it because he's got jammies on underneath. This isn't going to get that dirty. But when daddy was learning to do diaper changes, you know, and like stuff happens, their diaper leaks, maybe they spit up. It's definitely worth it to have more than one. I had three, three, I think I have four, maybe three. Um, I definitely have more of the swaddle me ones he's in now, but those have been, the, he will only nap swaddle. He is a Houdini since like his first night in the hospital, he could get out of the nurse's swaddle. I have the muslin blankets. Those have been great, but I wouldn't say they're a favorite. I like them for the like taking them out in the car and using them as a blanket, but I can't swaddle him in it because he's been able to get out of that since day one. Those have been a lifesaver. Um, really fantastic. The other thing, I feel like this is gonna be such a long video, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I was gonna do a review on all these things, but the only thing I'm actually gonna do a review on is our stroller. Um, so the other thing is, where on earth is the middle of this? The Moby Wrap has been his favorite thing. We had got the um, Bjorn, baby Bjorn, 
and um, I just, he did not like that at all. And so we have an Ergo now for when he's bigger and we have the infant insert and he likes it, but this is his favorite, the Moby wrap. Somebody asked me to do a video. A couple of people asked me to do a video of how I do it because they, they always say it looks so, like it looks like I do it just right, but I used YouTube videos to learn and, it, and sometimes I'm still a hot mess when I put this thing on, I have to redo it several times. But I will tell you a big trick to this is if you are plus size, you, it says in the instructions to put it below your belly button. If you're plus size, it needs to go above your belly button. That has been the biggest lifesaver of learning to do this, that in practice. I will do a video of that whenever I get time, but you guys are so backed up on videos. But the Moby Wrap is a huge favorite. Another favorite is our Boone Drying Grass. If you just have bottles that don't have a bunch of parts, you can just get the grass. It like nests inside here and there's a tray. It's like a tray. Ah, um, where the water goes. I really need to clean this. Goodness. Um, so that's the Boone drying grass. And then you can buy these accessories like this branch one um, and flowers. And this butterfly is a passy um, dryer. At least, I mean, because the little pacifiers go in here. And then I can hang some off here. And we just bought the butterfly recently. We got the two flowers and the twig. We got a flower and we got the twig, I think. It's separate showers. And then I bought an extra flower. And we have the Dr. Brown's bottles, so it really does take a lot of drying stuff to get the parts dry. But I love this because I can dry my pump um, stuff in here, nipples, I can put the bottle rims around here and the caps around here. I just love it. I don't really like washing bottles that much just because it's time consuming. It takes time away from my baby but I do enjoy doing it because of, um, it's just kind of fun with this. I don't know, I find it fun because it's just, and it's nice, it's not like ugly when it sits out. I don't like a lot of stuff sitting out on counters. I'm sure you guys have seen um, like our house, obviously if you watch our vlogs, I don't like a lot of stuff sitting out. I don't like a lot of stuff on the walls. I'm very like clean about decorating and stuff. So I did like that this, even though it has to sit out, it's fun and it's cute um, and it's unique. So that's our bottle dry rack, another fave. I did get that big size one. I got the biggest one because I just thought that was best. His favorite binky is the Mam binkies. Um, he's still in the newborn ones, but I just wanted to bring that in here because we have a lot of different pacifiers and these are his favorite. These are really the only ones he'll keep in his mouth. He sleeps with them, he loves them, he's obsessed. Um, and I tried a lot of the different um, pacifier holders because now he likes to spit them and project them like, let's see how far they can go. <laughs> um, he spits them out sometimes and they go across the room. So I tried a lot of the ones people gave us as gifts and um, I, I feel like all the ones I had were gifts. And then I had bought like one or two and they just didn't work well with this mam style because they'd have to hook them here and then he'd have something bothering his face. So then I found out that Mam actually makes their own for these like uh, pacifiers and it clips on here. It clips on better on the bigger Mam ones, the next size up. But like I said, he only likes, I think I've said this in another video, but he only, he's only, he can only use the newborn ones still. He's not into the bigger sizes yet. So it does hold it fine and everything's all good. It just clips like this. So the holder, the man pacifier, those are our favorites. This thing is something I made and anyone with sewing skills can make this. Y'all don't need a pattern, I promise you. I literally made my pattern um, out of, you know, I measured how long I wanted it to be. It's a burp cloth um, and I just made a pattern. I hand drew it. I did a little divot with a plate so that it would, it's a burp rag by the way, so that it would sit like this. And these are burp rags I made. These have been my favorite thing. These have been like my friend Crystal, she loves them. I made them for her for her baby shower. Liam, her baby loves them. Jackson loves these. You can also, I noticed when they're still too small for bibs, we use it like this on Jackson. I think Crystal's used it like this too. It's almost like it's a bib too. Um, so this, if you have any sewing skills or your grandma or someone can sew, anyone can make this, you guys. Um, I just used two different materials. I used a terry cloth and then I used a soft material on the top and just draw the pattern and anyone that knows how to sew should know how to like sew this just 
sew it, turn it inside out, top stitch it, you're good. But I did want to share that this has been one of our favorite things and I've made like 20 of them and sometimes you really need that many and I wish I had made more for Crystal when she was pregnant before I was super pregnant and couldn't sew anymore. Um, so if you know someone that sews, get them to make these. Trust me, the, ter the, the cloth ones because I've seen this shape in the stores and then I saw the prices and I was horrified. Um, but these work really well with the towel stuff on the back of them. So yeah, I don't really have a pattern. Like I said, I drew it. It's just a basic shape. This is this is all kind of going to go to bed. This is by the co go together. This is by the Koala Baby. This is not a bib. It is called a bath cozy, and it goes on them while they're taking a bath. Um, it used to be bigger. I feel like it shrunk some, but it's still like a good size for him. What I noticed that it helps cover his wee wee, <laughs> so he doesn't pee everywhere um, when his wee wee was still a little bit out of the water but it keeps him warm and Jackson another hospital issue we had is he kept having to be taken away because he would his temperature would drop too low like dangerously low and we brought him home with a lot of temperature regulation issues and so when we were able to finally bathe him because they didn't want us bathing him that much because of the temperature regulation issues this was a, a huge help to be able to put that on him and pour warm water on it during the bath and keep him warm um, so that is a big part of our bath um, this, I'm going to show you guys our tub first. This is our Four Moms um, bathtub. This has been the best thing ever, especially if you have a small baby that gets cold easily, because what it does is the water comes in here and it goes out into this area. And then from this area, it goes down here into the big part of the tub. And it goes over this temperature thing. Um, so blue means it's too cold. If it gets really cold, I think an alarm goes off. It may just be the hot, but it has a comfort zone um, and bracket. And once you get hot, then it turns red and an alarm goes off. When you get in the comfort zone, it turns green and it tells you the temperature. Um, so the water flows in here and then out into here. And it's continuously cleaning the water and putting the, um, there's like a hole here. You can use this hole or you can use this blue thing. And um, it will pour the dirty water out as you bathe it. And what is really good about this is if you have a tub that doesn't do this, then the water kind of sits there while you bathe them and it gets cold. Jackson had temperature regulation issues, like I said, so this has been really wonderful because it's constantly bringing in warm water to keep him warm. It comes with this little cup. It has a little foam thing in there, but he has been so, so small that I saw another YouTuber, um, oh gosh, I, oh, she's changed her channel name so many times. I'll, I'll link her channel below or I'll put the name of it somewhere. I saw her bringing some, and I'm going to mention her name because this, it, it, I want to give her credit. It's, she's the one that I saw this from when I saw she had the same tub. So this is just a little foam insert you can get at Toys R Us or Babies R Us. And it was six bucks, I believe. It's really cheap. And we used it and we still use it for him. There's, we tried to put him in it without it and he fits okay, but he's still a little bobbly. You know, so um, we'll probably keep using it a little longer, but you just put it in there and then it kind of like holds them so they're not bobbling, their head's not everywhere, they're not slipping and sliding. And that's been just wonderful. And I thought that was such a, gr such a great idea when I saw it, I wanted to buy it when we were registering. And Justin's like, no, let's see if he needs it first. And after his first bath, I was like, go get the turtle. <laughs> like, go get the little turtle insert, we need it. Um, so. That's been really great. He sits there and he loves baths now. But um, if you have a small baby or, you know, you know your newborn's not going to be like bigger or you just don't want them moving around a lot, this insert's a great thing to use at first. Um, we've tried it without, like I said, and it was fine. But I really think he still needs it a little bit longer. So this has been a great thing. Our four moms tub. I'm obsessed with it. Yes, it's big, but when we're not using it, I go put it in the guest room bathtub I mean it's not really some lady stopped us and bye bye baby when I was showing it to my best friend and she's like that's a nice tub but it takes up too much room you're not going to want it and I remember thinking lady you don't know how big my house is but like it, I really like one of my friends uses it too and she's like I just put it in the guest room when I'm not using it so I don't really know maybe the lady just has a really small house I don't know so anyways um that's been my newborn faves the only other thing is too big to be in here um is our um playpen, diaper changing station, 
infant napper combo. The napper thing comes out, it's kind of like a bouncy thing, except it is only for when they're really tiny before they start moving. I'm about to have to buy a bouncer because Jackson's starting to move around a lot and um, I want to have something that straps him in, but the that infant napper thing has been great. We don't actually use it in the playpen. We just take him everywhere in it. If we're doing something, when we eat dinner, we put him in it on the table, you know, in front of us. Um, he's slept in it a few times. I don't let him sleep in it long because I only feel safe with him sleeping on flat surfaces, SID safe stuff. It just is what it is. Um, with my background in SID's education and my certification in it, that's just, I'm going to be like that. So, I mean, I'm sure if, like, it's, it's very much like, because a lot of people are like, get the, um, the rock and play thing. Everybody's like pretty obsessed with that. And um, I couldn't get that. I didn't want to get it because it was too low. It's too low and the dogs could be in his face and they could, and not that they would hurt him, but it's just not safe to me when you have bigger dogs to have something that low. So like I said, the napper thing's been great. Of course, if I put it on a high place like the kitchen table or sometimes the counter when I wash bottles, I'm literally right there. You never, ever, ever want to put anything like that on a high spot and walk away. But it has been good for washing bottles and stuff when I'm standing in one place. Um, so that part of it's been great. Then um, it has a changing station, which has been amazing because going up and down the stairs to change the diaper would be a pain in the ass, especially with my pain condition. So that's been awesome. It's got a big caddy and I have it organized a certain way. I'll do that in an organization video, like I'll do a video on it, but it's got a huge caddy for diapers and all that kind of stuff. I really liked that about this model. And then the actual, there's actual playpen. It has a little um, mobile, which he loves. He naps in that as um, I swaddle him and nap him in the playpen part some of the times when he's downstairs or when we're downstairs and I need to do stuff and he wants to take a nap. So that's been awesome. I'm just like, I, it was a good purchase. And when I saw it, I took, it took a long time to find play pins because I want to find one with enough storage. I wanted to have a changer. Um, and I thought it was a good value to kind of come with that napper that comes out, which it has turned out to be a great value. And the very last thing is our stroller. Um, we have the Graco click to connect Downton stroller. Um, I think I said that right. Um, I know a lot of my friends have Graco strollers. I, I don't know if I'm saying they're Graco right, but um, the car seats and stuff like that. Um, and when I say cheaper, I don't mean it's like cheap, cheap quality. I mean, it was a cheaper price. Um, my best friend has a Graco stroller and it's a good stroller. It's nice. It's a nice size. It's got good storage. It's a good stroller, but the price wise, it was cheaper. And I noticed, um, and I showed her too, I was like, it doesn't handle the same. So I, it was really expensive stroller and car seat combo, but I can see why, like the storage in the bottom is bigger. It does a million things. I'm gonna do a video on all the stuff it does. You can look one up if you want, but um, it just does a lot of things, a lot of different positions. Um, you can change it around. You can do it kind of like a pram style. It's just, my favorite thing about it is it's so, it maneuvers so well and the really big wide basket on the bottom is fabulous so that is the one thing I am going to do a kind of review on so you guys because you guys have asked for it to see how much it does I feel like there's so many reviews on like the um oh, good lord Heather <laughs> there's so many reviews on the halo bassinet I don't really need to do that but I can only find one review on the stroller and it was like a lot of talking um, which I'm doing right now, but I felt like it could have been a quick video, like these are the different positions, you know, and done really fast and like, you know, better for shorter attention spans, which I say that and I talk a lot. But anyways, um, I'm going to do a video on that. That is the end of my favorites. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is my other favorite thing. This is his um, tummy time play mat. It is Infantino brand, I believe. Um, it's got a turtle head on top. See, it's got um, balls in it because it turns into a ball pin. Right now, it's strapped down. Ball pin, did I say right? A ball pit. It's, it's strapped down right now for when they're older. It turns into a ball pit. These little things or whatever. This this becomes taller for when it's a ball pit, or you can take it off completely for the ball pit. And the ball pit storage is in the turtle's head. So Jackson loves this thing. It's great for tummy time. It really gets his attention. He loves all the little animals on it, the bright colors. So this is our last favorite. 
Anyways, that's our newborn favorites. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!